Yes, you're right, this isn't the airport. We are sadly at home today because like 99% of the rest of Melbourne, I seem to have contracted some kind of Brazilian jungle strength style man flu. So instead of being up in the air doing this, for the last five days I've been down on the ground doing this. And just like you should always pre-flight your aircraft before you take it to fly, as a pilot, you need to pre-flight yourself as well to check that you're ready to fly. But there was a really useful monomic, which I was taught during my training to help you decide whether you as a pilot are actually safe to go and fly. Actually, I think we're gonna need some kind of graphic for this. Okay, this will Oh no, she's playing with the pen. <laughs> oh no. I'm safe. I am. S-A-F-E. I is for illness. Is the pilot suffering any kind of illness which could incapacitate him from flying? Well, yes, in this instance, that is exactly the reason why I'm not flying. So big tick next to that one. Medication, is the pilot taking any medication? And that can be prescription or over the counter. Now in my instance, oh boy, I should have bought shares in these two bad boys. Ibuprofen and paracetamol have been helping me sleep better at night and bring my temperature down as well. Now these can be found on the CASA list of approved medications, so I know I can take these, and once I feel better, I can then go ahead and fly. But if you're taking tablets, you should always check with your DAMI, your designated aviation medical examiner, uh, your designated aviation medical examiner, before going ahead and flying if you are taking any sort of medication. S is for stress. Now I think this one is particularly important to private pilots more so than the commercial guys, because if you are like me, you've got a real job outside of aviation and the stresses of that job can sometimes be brought across to aviation as well and that's a big problem. And the letter A is brought to you by no, not Furphy, that's just a local brand. It's good beer though. Um, alcohol. Check your local regulations for alcohol tolerance and consumption. Here in Australia, it's within the last eight hours of flying and there is a blood alcohol level, which I won't quote. It's on the CASA website, so go and check out the official regulations. But I have this thing where if I'm flying the day before a flight, I just don't drink. Even though I know that's well outside of the eight hour window, just the, the whole day before I don't drink just makes it easier to manage. I know that there's gonna be no issues with intoxication on the day of the flight. And it also means I sleep well the night before a flight, which is really important because that brings us to F. F is for fatigue. Now studies have shown that a tired pilot is just as dangerous as an intoxicated pilot. You've probably seen those air crash investigation episodes where a tired pilot has gone on to do something pretty nasty. So make sure you're well rested before a flight. Fatigue can be a real killer. And finally, E. Uh, e stands for two things, depending on where you are. Now, sometimes it stands for emotion. And this, I think, goes along with the uh, S for stress a little bit in that are you in the correct emotional state to be flying? But E in other countries can also be eating. And I think this is really important. So have you had nourishment before a flight? And when I look at eating, I also look at drinking at the same time. So are you sufficiently hydrated? Dehydration is no laughing matter when you're a pilot. So when I look at I'm safe and I was deciding whether to fly today, I failed at step one. Illness, nah. Uh, medication is fine, no stress. I haven't been drinking. I probably could do with a beer right now, but it's not gonna help. But the illness side, basically, I've not been too good. I've got blocked ears. Barrow trauma in an aircraft is no laughing matter. So I decided strike through that not gonna go flying today. It's actually really easy to cancel a flight because of the weather. It's also really easy to cancel a flight because there's something wrong with the plane. But it's hard to cancel a flight because there's something wrong with you. So use this I'm safe method to check yourself before you wreck yourself, no. Use the I'm safe checklist and give yourself a pre-flight before you jump in the plane. Thanks as always for watching. I'm gonna take my trusty medication and go and hit the couch with some Netflix and a cup of tea. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. There's a weekly pilot and travel video coming out now on this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.